Hey everyone, it's Andy Zitzman, founder of the Game Time Movement, where I'm on a mission to helping you and one million other people step up your game. In this short three to five minutes every day, I'm going to provide you with inspiration, motivation, and empowering information so that you can wake up, have a little pick-me-up, get fired up so that you step up on a daily basis. So get ready, because it's time, it's your time, it's game time. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Andy Zitzman, and welcome to today's show. Today, we're going to talk about listening. That's right, listening to understand instead of listening to reply. And so I want to share this with you because I'll be honest, this is something that I have yet to master. I work on it and I, you know, I do well at it sometimes and then other times I don't do so well. I'll tell you, when I was a sales guy and in my coaching business, I did it very, very well, but I had to pay attention to it and I had to learn how to do it. But at times in my personal relationships and at times when I'm just out there having fun, you know, there's, there's a lot of me which just loves to reply. I just love to speak. In fact, you know, I'm a little bit of a gabber. I'm a little bit of a talker. And I wouldn't say that most people would say, you know what, Andy's the best best listener in the world. But I do think that people, you know, that I've started to connect with um, in a different way recently in these last five years where I've lived more conscious, that they start to feel that I am listening to truly understand. And I've had to work at it. And so I wanted to remind everyone of this today because, you know, just as much as I need the reminder, I'm sure all of us need the reminder every now and then just to ask ourselves, how do we listen? Do we truly listen? Do you truly listen to understand? Or are you listening so you can reply? And think about that for a second. Think about the last conversation you had where you jump in to jump into the conversation, jumping in to reply, jumping in to tell them what you think they need to hear. Perhaps you're in a business, you know, where you're in sales. Perhaps, you know, you're just, you know, in your relationship. Perhaps just with your kids. You know, are we really taking the time to really slow down the internal process that's going on when we listen. To really turn off all the voices. To turn off the judgment, the expectations, what we're gonna say next. You know what I'm talking about. And so I'm gonna encourage you today to just take a moment and to remind yourself to listen to understand. In fact, there's that quote out there that says, hey, you have two ears and one mouth. Use them proportionately. So in fact, In the art of communication, the skill of communication, 66.6% repeating should be listening and not speaking. We all wanna have influence. We all want people to trust us and we all wanna connect at a much deeper level so that we truly feel like we're being understood. One of the best ways to have influence, to build trust and to be understood yourself is to do it for other people by listening. And so today, let's all go out there and pay attention to how we're listening. And here's a few things that we can do. In the next conversation we have, what I'd like you to do is just clear your mind first and foremost with intention. The conversation starts, say, I'm gonna go, Andy, clear your mind. Let go of any expectation. Let go of any chatter in your mind that wants to reply and let go of any judgment around the words that are being spoken and let go of any assumption, any assumption that you understand. And when the other person is done speaking, take a moment to number one, clarify your understanding. And the way to do that is to repeat back what they said to you so they feel like you listened and heard what they said, heard what they said and then ask a clarifying question so that you truly understand what they said. You don't assume. And then from there, take a moment, pause, let there be a little bit of silence, and then reply. Reply to what they need versus what you may need. Listen to understand instead of listening to reply. Listen to understand. Hey, thanks for tuning in today, and thanks for stepping up your game. Here's what you can do to spread the movement. 
Go to GameTimeMovement.com and be sure to share your Game Time Moment of the Day, your GMOTD, so that others will feel compelled to share their Game Time Moments too. And if you haven't already, subscribe on iTunes or Stitcher Radio and please be so kind to leave a rating and review so that we can reach 1 million people and encourage them to step up their game too. This is Andy Zitzman. Reminding you, it's your time, it's game time, till next time.